Well, today we've got a transistor radio kit from China. Uh, I think they're about one pound seventy nine, and um, somebody was saying how uh, good it was on uh, a gentleman in the United States who does repairs on vintage televisions, and so I thought, well, I'll buy one of these to evaluate. So we're going to put it together, and I was quite surprised at the circuit diagram. Mr. Chippy, would you like to pull the circuit diagram out of the bag? Um, and it's actually seven transistor and not the kind of five transistor I was kind of expecting. And let's have a look at the other side of the um, of the uh, leaflet, uh, please. And well, you know, I don't need to be able to read Chinese. I'm sure we can put this together, and then we can align it to within an inch of its life and see how it performs. So it's just an AM medium wave transistor radio, and I thought we'll we'll try one of these and evaluate it. So sorry about the ham the handheld camcorder, but uh, that's how it is at the moment. So we'll start putting it together. And there's the parts all emptied out, and we'll see what happens next. So about an hour later, we've put the board together. And with it all being in Chinese, it's been quite interesting to do. And Fre uh, Mark ZX2 is here this weekend, and he got his um, he's got one of these smartphones, not like my 22 year old Motorola. And on the circuit diagram, you've got Chinese symbols, and he's put it through translation software, and it turns out that the first one should be um, red and the second one should be yellow and the third one should be white and the third one should be fourth one should be black and he also found a photograph of the finished product on the website somewhere so that helped us uh, identify the transformers because uh, you've got one with yellow tape on it and one with green tape on it and the yellow one's the output transformer we did check the uh, windings with the meter we've also checked every single component before putting it in and we found that all the uh, 22 nanofarad capacitors were 33 nanofarad so we've actually replaced them and we found that the transistors have been substituted in the output stage um, from uh, what should they be let's have a look uh, 9013H to 2SC 945s so without one wading through equivalent books, we just put in what the specification said rather than what was in the kit. So those leftover parts uh, are what that is. There's a wrong resistor. We'd got an extra, I think it was 50K, uh, and we needed 150 ohms. So we just had to supply that from our stock. Um, and then the transistors in the RF section, you start off with uh, number V two is it we start with v1 yeah it's back there that's g and the gain of g is lower than 9018h 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 and there there are nothing but g's in the kit so the problem is that i think that'd be low gain well we've got the uh, 9018h's in stock in a chinese kit that i bought so um, we've put the right components in. So we're going to have the, the best possible um, fighting chance of doing this. So next thing is we're going to apply power and we're going to check the test points that we've got the correct uh, amount of current. So we'll see how we go in another half hour. So there we are with it assembled on the bench. And if you listen, it's making radio type noises, which is interference from the... Um, the LED, oh, the fluorescent in this room, the fluorescent, oh, okay. yeah. So we will now put it on the signal generator and do some alignment. Okay, so we've uh, tuned in a radio station. It's at night. We've got loads of foreign stations coming through. It's been aligned on the signal generator. If I just zoom out, I'll just use this little signal generator to, first of all, align the IF at 465 kilohertz. And then uh, the... Um, receive end of it on the uh, middle of the band and um, what else is there to say we'll play with it tomorrow oh, I think we'll just stick a few of those stickers on and, uh, and finish it off a bit
Well, I've no idea what we're tuned to, and if I kept the music on more than a few seconds, we'd end up with the copyright police after us. But anyway, it works fine. It sounds all right. It's got plenty of volume. We aligned it so easily with the signal generator. And there we are with the finished radio. So, there so I dug my HMV Marlborough transistor radio out and tuned in a distant BBC local station. Uh, I think it's 90-odd miles away, this one. And uh, as you can hear, it's coming through on the red transistor radio we put together. Uh, now, this HMV Marlborough, they were made by, uh, I think it was Balfour, who do the... Um, they did the sonar for, the, for our Navy, for the UK Navy. They did the sonar test units. So they were into, you know, really good electronics. And these were made uh, as a contract for HMV by them. They're really tonker. And... Um, I've owned this one from new, so if I just turn the volume up on it, it's just as, um, obviously it's better quality audio wise, it's got a bigger speaker, but it's just as scratchy, which just proves the sensitivity on the little uh, Chinese kit is uh, is excellent. I've been astonished as I've flicked around the stations today at, uh, at how sensitive it is. So there you are, I mean, if you're a 14 year old and you wanted to put a radio kit together, it was a bit of a disappointment to have some wrong parts in there, uh, which we were able to overcome as electronics engineers. Uh, so apart from the Chinese instructions, it, uh, you know, that, that's fair enough. You've got software these days that can overcome that problem. But um, we needed to have test instruments. Uh, we, we, needed to, we tested every part that went in it. We tested every capacitor, every resistor and every transistor uh, to make sure it was right. And we ended up with the wrong value uh, resistor, as I mentioned earlier which we were able to pull a replacement from stock. So there you have it anyway, this uh, HX108-2 transistor radio kit all the way from China, and I think it was about £2.70 delivered or something like that. So thanks for watching, bit different to usual.